Could Russia's invasion of Ukraine end up in a full-scale nuclear war? Russia's defense ministers accuse Ukraine of planning to use what's called a dirty bomb. There are fears that Russia could be laying the groundwork for a so-called false flag operation, perhaps as a pretext to use a nuclear weapon. Безусловно, используем все имеющиеся в нашем распоряжении средства. Это не блеф. There's a growing fear in the West that Vladimir Putin might pull the nuclear trigger because the Ukraine war isn't going according to his plan. And a nuclear blast, however small, could force Ukraine into submission. After all, that is what America did to Japan, supposedly to end the Second World War. It was the only time nuclear bombs were used on a civilian population completely destroying two industrial cities and killing hundreds of thousands of people and leaving generations with lifelong ailments. America's war crime would leave its population scared for decades to come, worrying about what would happen to them if their cities were nuked. Our cities are prime targets for atomic attack. Over the next 40 years, the USA and the Soviet Union would stockpile nuclear warheads in a Cold War policy of mutually assured destruction or MAD. MAD, that's the operative word, and it was believed that only a madman would break this stalemate. Fire the nuclear weapons! Fire the nuclear weapons! Fire the nuclear weapons! Yeah. At least that is what the world has believed all this while, that rational actors, and that is what heads of state are expected to be, would never really push that nuclear button. But was Richard Nixon, two-time president of the United States, a madman? Some would say yes, he did order the carpet bombing of Vietnam, killing thousands of people. And in 1972, towards the end of the Vietnam invasion, he had this revealing conversation with his aide and confidant, Henry Kissinger. Well, this was not the only time when Richard Nixon used the nuclear threat. In 1969, he launched an operation codenamed Giant Lance to make the USSR and North Vietnam believe that America was ready to use nukes against them and force them to come to the negotiating table and accept USA's terms. Nixon called this pressure tactic of appearing to be irrational and unpredictable to his enemies the madman theory. This could be Putin's core logic behind his veiled threats of going nuclear in Ukraine. He wants the world to believe that he is an irrational, unpredictable fighter who is willing to take a tumble in order to win. But his allies, such as China, Xi Jinping, might not find this kind of brinkmanship exactly to their taste. But the average Joe in America might take Putin seriously. Kim Jong-un first revived the fear of a nuclear attack in America five years ago. And at that time, for a very brief period, 82% of Americans were worried about a nuclear war. Putin has raised those fears again since the invasion of Ukraine. Since February this year, Americans have been consistently worried that their country is headed towards a nuclear conflict. This is the highest level of nuclear anxiety since the end of the Cold War. The war in Ukraine has been built up in Western media as a huge success story for the Ukrainian resistance and a setback for Russian forces. Comes as Putin's forces are reeling on the front lines. Putin is losing this war right now. And as he loses, he becomes more desperate. Is it possible that if Russia continues to suffer defeats on the battlefield and it becomes a strategic crisis for them, that Ukraine could become a nuclear battlefield? And it is this propaganda in the Western media that is making the West increasingly scared of what Putin might do. Vladimir Putin is becoming embarrassed and pushed into a corner. And I wonder, Mr. President, what you would say to him if he is considering using chemical or tactical nuclear weapons. Don't. 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 Vladimir Putin might well be playing Richard Nixon's game of acting the madman to force NATO to end their support to Ukraine. 
We shouldn't forget that this is a game that the West has played over and over again to bully the rest of the world into submission. That's the show today. Keep watching News Click. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, comment on it and do share it as well.